one of the things that I notice when a, a producer gets really, really good, they start, they start to develop an intuition. You'll notice that like the very few beats that people make in the very beginning, when they're first starting, um, it doesn't matter who the producer is. You can go to the best producers in the world, listen to their early beats. There's no subtlety, is what you'll notice. There's no subtlety in any of the instruments. Everything is like, ooh, this sounds good. Let me throw it in to this song without actually thinking about how it's going to affect the song. It just sounds good by itself. Let's take two things that sound good by themselves and, and not uh, consider what the final result will end up being. Music is, is the purest form of art. It's the definition of the whole being greater than some of its parts. The sum of the parts, like each individual part is like whatever. Each individual part is like one, one out of 10, right? Let's just call it, let's give it a scale of one out of 10. You throw in five of these parts, you reach a 10 out of 10. The, the whole is greater than some of its parts. You're making something much greater with the parts. That, that's what art really is. I mean, if you were to define art, um, I did define it in a better way, but I'm not going to get into that. That was way too mentally taxing to do, but what you'll, what I, what I start to notice is that the more experienced producers tend to get, it's so crazy how like I watched so many producers work and like do their thing. And, uh, even after all that, I struggle so much with this because it's like, it's a totally different thing when you're doing it yourself rather than watching others do it. And telling them what you think, you know? I think my critiquing skills will be affected by this. Oh well. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, 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 so what you'll start to notice is that they'll develop an intuition the, the more they grow as a producer, where they'll stop thinking so much about, oh, this thing sounds good by itself, and they'll start thinking, how would this make the beat sound? They start serving the beat rather than serving individual instruments and serving their ears with individual instruments. And so what'll happen is these guys, when they're really good, they'll be in the studio, they'll play something or whatever, uh, you know, some keys, some, they'll lay out some MIDI, they'll, they'll just start brainstorming. And I'm like, that sounds great. Oh, you should record that. And they'll be like, nah, nah. And they'll keep going. I'm like, oh, that sounds great. And they'll be like, no, nah, that didn't sound too good. And then they'll, they'll play something that doesn't actually sound all that good to me and they'll be like, ooh, this is it right here, this is it right here. And I'm like, what? This doesn't sound good. And I'm only thinking about it in the context of that particular instrument by itself in that progression. However, they put it in a beat and then they play the beat all together and I'm like, oh, yeah, never mind. You were right, I was wrong. This is, this is totally different. And I, I think about it, I like, I watch these guys the way they work, the, the, the mental uh, um, skills they've developed. And I'm like, yeah, I thought like I was ahead of these guys in terms of my ability to, to, to think of cool melodies or, or rather my ability to spot cool melodies. Like, hey, that's a cool melody. I thought I had better taste in these guys, but they just made a beat with the melodies that I didn't like. And they combined it all together in a way where the final result in my head wasn't as good as that. My imagination was not as good as what they made. So, yeah, the artist is, is everything. The tools mean very little. The artist is everything. <laughs>